Hello my fellow handlers, in this video I want to compare the Furious Raw Young Switch X, the Daemon Lord Edge, with the Cure X Thunder. Um, first of all, my favorite builds are Thunder Elemental Switch X builds because they deal the most damage. Also we have the Kirin Arms, I don't use it in this set to better compare it, but uh, Kirin Cloths are pretty good, they have Thunder Attack free and also free great slots to put tacos in that. If you have seen my T-Rex speed run, you can see how good all the Thunderbolts are. But I wanna only uh, focus this time to the switch axis. We have the Cure X Thunder with critical element and the power elemental file. And we have the Daemon Lord Edge, which is from Furious Red Rang. The pro is on this weapon, we have Purple Sharpness, I also put two levels of Handicraft in this weapon. And we have a Power File, which gives us 117% of raw damage. And the Cure X Hunter gives us 145% power and um, elemental bonus damage. Uh, now I want to show you the sets on the critical element set for Cure X Thunder. I used Agitator Secret to get Agitator level 7, Dragon Rain Awakening to get more elemental damage, critical elements on the weapon, also attack boost level 4, Thunder attack level 6. I love Blight Resistance 3, it's very comfortable, so I use it on all my sets. Yes, and that's all the special skills. We have 100% crit, we have a bloated raw of 1138 attack and a bloated element of 1200 thunder attack. And now to the Daemon Lord Edge. This is a switch X with a power file, which is also pretty strong. We get it in the end game when we kill Furious Yet Red Chang. We have attack boost level 7 instead of attack boost level 4. And we also have two levels of handicraft with which gives us even more sharpness. I think we don't need 70 points of purple, but I think it's more comfortable. We also have Dragon Wayne Awakening to get a little bit more elemental damage and a little bit more critical hits to land 100% affinity. On this weapon we have 1450 bloated raw and a bloated element with 410 which only gives us an ele effective element of 51 and the Cure X Thunder gives us a 4 times higher effective element. But now we want to see the damage values. Uh, Sorry, that's the wrong side. I put my data in this table. Um, first of all, you have to say elemental switch X is a little bit complicated. You have to um, see what combos are you using. Um, this video is only for counseling a ZSD. So it's a ZSD early release without a ZSD complete finisher where we get a higher motion values. On the left two sides I have the Cure X Thunder with an elemental hit zone value of 20 and an elemental hit zone value of 25 because putting more elemental hit zone values in the damage, damage calculation is very important because we get high differences. Um, on the Furious Red Jang SA we don't have a high uh, Thunder element. We also haven't got a critical element, we haven't thunder attack level 6, so, and we also have a power element, uh, sorry, a power file, so we don't have to calculate more element hits and values in the Furion Red Rang. We also have 5, de five mm, thunder attack ticks in the element discharge, so I don't think this value of 5 won't charge anymore. And get general, the zero sum discharge ticks or from the thunder value is um, 19. If we have a 20 element head zone value and if it have the 25 element head zone value, the thunder attack is 24, only 5 on Furious Red Dragon SA. So that's the ele handle elemental hit zone value table. So you have overview, what are the common elemental hit zone values? I say it's about 22. Uh, the most monsters, but sometimes we also need attack the head also, where the elemental hits and value goes up to 30 or sometimes also 35. So, but I also use the average hits and value to make a better calculation. Now I have a sheet to explain you all the things. Sorry, I forgot one thing. I have to make this red. Moment, please. Okay, and make this. A little bit, a little bit bigger, so you can better see it. Maybe 120%. Okay, I think that's uh, 
uh, correct size. Now you have the table. On the x-axis you have the raw head zone values. You can see the yellow boss, the yellow and the green boss are from the QR switch X and the purple boss are from the red chain. I used purple because of the purple sharpness and yellow because of the thunder attack from the QR switch X. Um, here you have a better comparison. First of all, this sheet is only for an early release. It don't calculate the complete uh, zero sum discharge. We have to say that the finisher is even strong for power files, but we also have power elemental files and I want to make an next video where I can calculate the complete ZSDs. But counseling ZSD is very comfortable to more attack the monster. So we can say Furious Rejang is better for 20 elemental hits and values, so if you're only attacking Kamon hits and values, if you attack a different monster monster parts, we can say you can choose Rejang switch X if the raw hit zone value is higher than 55. So we can say if you tenderize the monster parts and make an early release, you can use the Rejang SA if you don't specify on the highest elemental hit zone values. But if the elemental hit zone value is 25, for instance, your raw hit zone value must be higher than 78. So we can see here, uh, if we have a 25 element hit zone value, the damage is exactly the same from the ZSD ticks. And all under that values, the gear switch X is even better. So I have to say, if you're taking monster pods where the elemental hit zone value is 25 or higher, elemental switch X is pretty much better. And also, if you are attacking not tenderized parts of the monster, elemental switch X is also better. But if you want to make more comfortable damage, I have to say, yes, the Kiosk switch X is better. But if you're playing a uh, full ZSD, I have to make a next video and also include the ZSD finish song. But now here I have made a sheet, so you can say, you can check how high are your elemental hit zone values and then you can say okay I use Furious switch Furious Rejang switch X or the Kiosk switch X. All in all, like every time I have to set uh, the Kiosk switch X's are more comfortable because they also work great on non-tenderized parts. When you play the Furious switch X you every time have to tenderize parts and yes that's the point you have to pay attention. Now I maybe make a next video and include the ZSD finisher to make to wrap it more up. So see you next time.